Hey everyone, how's it going? Robert here, and I'm on a roll with watching Back Rooms and Analog Horror stuff, so here we go. Aster Industries, Back Rooms Inception. And if you remember stuff from this series, they did a lot of covering up a lot of their scientists dying from the entity that they, I mean, they provoked it. Don't get me wrong, and they poked it, and they shot it. <laughs> but this is a continuation of that one. That looks like a convoluted weapon. Or maybe an engine. Maybe an engine. Power source. It still looks like an engine. Or maybe it is something that's going to rip a hole and make a portal, per se, I guess, to the back rooms. President Nixon. Anyway, we, we have a lot of stuff going on here now. We have, you know, this has been approved by the, the U.S. government. And we are getting everything ready. I mean, don't get me wrong, the government does fund different scientific explorations. And it makes sense that this would also be one of them. After nearly a decade, Aster Industries completed their quantum manipulator. Okay. Quantum manipulator activation. Trial 1. Alright, began at 7.33pm, January 2nd. I, I feel like they're too close, I'm going to say it. I'm not liking where this is going so far. It works! But... What's gonna happen? Ooh! Oh! Where did they send them? Wasn't there somebody else at the at the back, like behind there? And then all of a sudden it ripped the hole to the back rooms? What are you doing, my boy? <laughs> I guess now there's no going back. What? Is the ladder there? Is it like completely ripped up? Why would you continue? Dive. I was gonna say, please. Oh, they're in there. Yeah. What if you're trapped in there? You're gonna end up just like the other guy, meandering the back rooms and then going crazy. At least there's a bunch of other people, you know. Okay, we have additional cams in the back rooms. It. We know it's the back rooms, and this is taking, you know, the trial one, so this is from the very beginning, and it's like I'm getting lost in my words, but they don't know where they are, because you have this quantum manipulator that opened a portal to somewhere, and they are able to step through it, so they might actually think or what is logical to think, is that they are somewhere else entirely, like another part of the world, essentially. Not back rooms. I, I don't even know if it's a thing to them. 
I mean, it is now, but you know what it is. I could not imagine the power draw on that quantum manipulator. However, I mean, they, they have all the science down, so it should all be good. And also, it's a pretty good reason for them to be in the back rooms itself. And let the exploration begin. It's not going to take them long. I know I just said that they could also be in another, you know, like, just different part of the world in some kind of building. But it's not going to take them long to realize that <laughs> it is, I guess it's a building of sorts. But they are not on Earth. All right, and that's actually going to be it for this episode. That was from Aster Industries, and again, that was the back room's inception. And it makes sense. It is the beginning of the back room journeys for Aster Industries. And it's a very good look into the beginning. <laughs> because they had to get there somehow, and it provides a very good explanation on how they got there. And their amazement on finding the back rooms. All right. Thank you everyone for watching and I will talk to you later. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.